Hello everyone and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbital's Rocket Shop. We just got some uh, great news for you. Just literally 10 minutes ago, we did the first uh, circumferential weld on one of the speaker tanks. So we tack welded the end cap to the cylindrical part, but the, the real welding joint, the one that take, needs to take all the strain, that one was just put in place a couple of minutes ago. So at this time we're just currently uh, we're doing some visual inspection on the welding, see how it went and it, it looks very promising so far. So we'll see if we have to do a little touch up on the welding here and there, but all in all we more or less just welded a lot of minutes just in one straight line and it seems to work well. So um, we'll, just, uh, we'll just do another one in a few minutes now that we got it going or not. So great progress today. and. Um, we, uh, we're well, well underway with our uh, speaker tank now. So the next step here in this process is that we, uh, we now need to put in the, uh, the anti-slush plates, um, uh, simply some baffles inside the tank so that if, uh, if the rocket takes a, a little swing on the way upwards, we don't have a, a ton of propellant in each tank just slossing from one side to the other. So these baffles just uh, keep the fluid inside the tank uh, nice and calm so we don't get any dynamic effects on the uh, rocket trajectory. So those are the next ones we need to focus on. And finally, we'll uh, close up the tank by welding the, uh, the other end cap to this uh, tank system. And then we're basically done with speaker tanks. But I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to the getting them deformation hardened, painted, and then we need to, uh, to stack it, uh, the two tanks with the inter-tank section. That'll be cool. And it's a little odd thinking that that used to be the size of the tank when we started. So for this uh, first uh, uh, circumferential weld, we, uh, we used a MIG welding, uh, stainless steel, steel MIG welding. So that is, uh, that is inert gas welding in this case. And the big difference between TIG welding and MIG welding is that in this case, we add the material by use of the welding gun. So it simply adds the welding material we need. That is, uh, that is, is a good way to do welding when you need to fill up a gap um, or add some additional material for structural strength. The TIG welding, in, essentially in some cases you can actually weld without adding material. You basically just fuse the two pieces of metal already present and in some cases you add some additional just for which kind of, of weld you want. But in this case we, uh, we needed to add some material just to make sure we have a uh, uh, that we get enough material to bond the uh, the end cap and the cylindrical section of the tank. So for this part we used uh, we used MIG welding in contrary to the case when we did the long sim welding where we just basically fused the material that uh, were, was available in the uh, in the roll plate. That is all for now so as always thank you for watching and supporting. If you don't want to miss any of our future updates make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so we can see you next time when we get one step closer to space. The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps and thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.